Kids, have you ever been bullied? Do you know what a bully is? Well, today we're going to learn how to deal with bullies with another Wellness 101 Junior. Presented by St. Luke's Pediatrics. Hey kids, Mr. Wellness here, and today... Do you hear that? Well, what's the matter, my buddy? You're being bullied at school? Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Well, I'm really glad that you came to me about this. Did you know that I was bullied when I was a kid? Yep, and I have the steps to help you with your bully. But first, let's learn what exactly a bully is. A bully is a person who does hurtful things on purpose to another person. Remember, bullies act the way that they do because they lack the attention or love that you have. They're insecure. That means they don't feel confident. So they bully others to feel powerful. There are four types of bullying. Verbal, social, physical, and cyber. Verbal bullying is saying or writing mean things, including teasing, name-calling, or threatening to cause harm. Social bullying involves hurting someone's character or relationships, and can include leaving someone out on purpose, spreading rumors about someone, or telling other children not to be friends with someone. Physical bullying involves hurting a person's body or property, including punching, kicking, pinching, spitting, pushing, taking or breaking someone's things, or making rude hand gestures. And lastly, there's cyberbullying. This takes place on digital devices like cell phones, computers, and tablets, and can include posting or sharing mean or false information about someone else with others. Bullies can be boys or girls, and now that we know the different types, we can figure out how to deal with them. Just follow these steps. Step one, stay calm. Bullies usually pick on people they think are weaker than they are, so stand up to them. Bullies enjoy making you sad and scared, so while it's tempting to fight back, try to stay calm. Bullies thrive on getting a reaction out of you. Standing up to a bully by not reacting to their shenanigans will likely stop them from picking on you. You might be scared at first, but if you continue to stand up to them, they will stop. Try saying something confidently like, This is boring. Let me know when you're done. Or, You're being really uncool. Enough already. Step two, walk away. This one seems simple, but by walking away without responding, you immediately take away the bully's power. Bullies usually go after a single person, but will rarely bully a group. So walk away and surround yourself with your friends. Step three, speak out. If you think you or someone else is being bullied by the comments or actions of others, tell someone you trust. Your trusted adult can help stop the situation before it gets worse. But speaking out isn't just about telling an adult. There's strength in numbers, kids. And if you see a friend being picked on by a bully, don't just stand by and let it happen. Speak up and let that bully know that what they're doing is not okay. Remember, gang, it's not cool to be cruel. Okay, kids, question time. How do you deal with a bully? Is it A, scream and yell at them? B, stay calm, walk away, and tell an adult? C, slap them on the back? Or D, threaten to destroy their favorite toy? Did you answer B? Bravo, my little bully busters. You're right. Kiddos, it's time to take a stand against bullying. Weak people put others down. Strong people lift them up. Hey, Welby, how's your bullying situation going? You stood up to him by remaining calm. Not only did he stop picking on you, but you guys are friends? That's great, pal. That's what I call a win-win situation. Remember, kids, being kind is cool. Be a buddy not a bully. Until next time, this is Mr. Wellness and Welby saying be well and follow the steps to a healthier you.